Today's episode is brought to you by Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop, and Rapid Air Works, the makers of raw air guns. You'll find links to these and more in the description down below. How are you doing, air gunners? I'm Chad Kettner, your air gun advisor. And to say that I've tested a lot of air guns in my time, well, that might just be an understatement. But for me to be this excited over a platform usually speaks to the quality and performance. And that is what we're getting here today with the Raw Micro Hunter, which is built on the HM1000 platform that we are all very familiar with. And this thing, I mean, it's so short. It has a super short barrel coming in at just 27 inches. That can't be right. How about seven inches? Quick spoiler alert, I find the Raw Micro Hunter to be one of the best air guns in this size category. And of course, when we're talking best, you will pay for that performance with a price tag of $15.99 as of the making of this video. While you might also expect such a short platform to really shine in maybe 25, 30 yards, the Raw Micro Hunter, well, it excels at 50 yards and beyond as I'll be happy to show you here in just a few minutes. But before we get there, let's go ahead and get to know this 22 caliber Raw Micro Hunter that I have in front of me. Now, as you can probably tell, this does come with a shrouded barrel, which is fluted. And I love the fluting on that, really just helps to stand out. We also have a one half by 20 threaded muzzle, as well as an integrated air stripper right here in the front inside of the shroud and let's touch on that air stripper for just a second i did have to adjust mine just a little bit and there's a allen key that you stick in the barrel to adjust it and that really helped to tighten up the group because it is stripping the air off of the back of a pellet think about this those little pellets yeah they got about 1500 psi behind them and there's bound to be a little bit of air turbulence behind there so mitigating that with the air stripper helps a ton. Also, just like other raw products, the Micro Hunter is regulated. It's internally regulated right in here. I did a video for raw showing you how you can adjust that, and I'll leave a link to that down below. The hammer spring is also adjustable, and that is through a little slot we have right here. Having the hammer spring adjustable does give you quite a bit of functionality as well as tuning performance that you can do down at the range to really dial in the platform. Comes with a machined, yes, nicely machined chassis with M-Lock system all over it. So you can attach M-Lock accessories underneath, on the sides, wherever you may need them. The grip itself is a AR-15 style grip and is swappable just like any other platform. The one that comes with the rifle I found to be just a little bit small for my hands. Your mileage may differ. If you have one of these platforms, let me know if you agree with me down below, but it is totally usable out of the box. As far as air, we have a 216 cc aluminum bottle that you can fill up to 3000 PSI, which if you are a new air gunner looking for a high performance air gun, this is a great option for you because you could fill it with a pump, but also those less expensive portable pumps that you can get now, it's gonna be nice because it fills up quickly. And well, you don't have to worry about the heat building up as much because the bottle is smaller, helping the longevity of your compressor. Also with this air gun, you get a 12 shot rotary magazine, which you can buy extras of, as well as a ton of seals if you're ever to need to rebuild yours. Let's go ahead and talk about chronograph data. You guys all love it, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my graph over here so you can look. The data shows that you get around 50 shots, averaging around 784 feet per second, and a standard deviation just under 10 feet per second. This was with lighter pellets, shooting the 14 grain JSBs, and not bad for such a small platform and even smaller barrel. For me, the trigger is probably the most important part of any platform and the raw trigger lives up to its standards. 
on average with just 4.3 ounces out of the box. And a trigger like that can really help to improve your accuracy at distance, as well as helping you with your offhand shots when hunting, or even perhaps a little bit of field target. This is by far, and I will stand up to this, but one of the best triggers I have tested out of the box that you can buy today. If you disagree, put it in the comments down below, but make sure you've tried this before refuting it. Hey, enough chatting. Let's get this platform out to the range and see what it really can do. Let's see what this can do. I'll be shooting today the JSB Match Diablos 22 caliber pellets, 15.89 grain pellets down there at 50 yards. Got a nice little hawk scope on here. Uh, good little reticle on there. Great for this kind of thing. Uh, also very good for as a hunting scope. If you want something small, kind of inexpensive that you can knock around, this one might do it for you. So enough talking. Let's get the magazine in there and see what we got at 50 yards. All right. I turn the hat around guys as per usual it gets in the way this is on 16x so not a very powerful scope either and you'll be able to tell that so Hard to see, it's all in the black so far. Ooh, just a little outside. I think that might be me actually. Need something on the back here to rest it on. Five shot group, 50 yards, little compact monster. This thing is phenomenal. I'm gonna go and get a backrest for this and see if I can't get a little bit more stable here so I can show you, I mean, just how accurate this thing is. So hang on one second, let me go get that and I'll be right back at the bench. All right, we got the back pad here. Let's go ahead and slip that under here. This will help me just a little bit with my stability out there. It's such a short gun that I uh, really want to make sure I get the most out of it. I got to be stable, right? Uh, speaking of stable, I am shooting off of my Stuky bench, which honestly, I believe is probably the most stable platform I ever shoot off of, whether this be at EDR, Pyramid Air Cup, um, you know, Utah, out there in Utah. but this thing as a portable bench is more stable i think than like a concrete type bench for the most part yeah concrete can be a little bit more but this thing is pretty killer i'm going to leave a link for this video up up here you know what to do check it out uh it is a little pricey but again you get what you pay for all right here we go let's do another five shot group i think i got enough pellets in there uh and see what we can do Definitely more stable. I flinched just a little bit on that one.
I think I flinched on the last one. Let's get the camera down there and see what we got going on because <laughs> out of this little thing, those are some killer groups. Let's go. All right. Now, as I walk down here, let me tell you what I've done to this air gun. I did adjust the, um, oh shoot, what's, it's not coming to me. The uh, air stripper down there, I did adjust the air stripper a little bit and then I also cleaned that barrel. Again, you're going to hear me say this over and over again, cleaning the barrel is going to get you the best results as well as polishing a barrel if it needs it. Okay, so this gun doesn't need it. I didn't polish it and I'm getting some killer results. Let's go ahead, take a look. I'm going to spin this around so we can see what, exactly what we got. Oh yeah. All right, so here's the first group. All right, that's with me. A little shaky, definitely not the best group I've seen out of this air gun. And then I come over here, out of that back rest, I told you that one I flinched. There it is, I think. And look at that, clover leaf group right there at 50 yards from that little air gun. I'm not sure if you're impressed by that. Leave a comment down below. I'm impressed by that. This is an air gun that's going to be staying in my stable. I'm not letting it go because it's a great little hunting gun. Obviously, it's a great little target gun. Uh, I'm not going to be shooting bench rest with it or anything. But man, that is some great accuracy. Hope you enjoyed the review. Until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth. Those pellets fly straight. I keep telling I'm excited. And we'll see you next time right here on the Air Gun Advisor.